Welcome to Indie Voice, where we dive into the world of indie games, the channel where we celebrate the creativity and passion of indie developers. Here, we provide honest reviews, constructive criticism, and spotlight the best hidden gems in the indie game scene. Come one, come all, to the most haunted carnival of all time. Welcome to a weird world where every step could be your last. The stealth horror survival game pits you against terrifying mascots as you guide two siblings on a mission to recover lost items using a metal detector, but be aware, enemies are always listening, and Tim Tim is not happy about your presence. In today's review, we'll be diving into the gameplay, exploring the pros and cons, and seeing if Circus of Tim Tim is worth braving. Let's get started, and enjoy the show. Taking a look at the gameplay of Circus of Tim Tim, this game is all focused about tension and stealth. You control a sibling sneaking around the haunted carnival armed with nothing but a metal detector to find the lost items throughout this circus. The gameplay revolves around avoiding detection by the eerie mascots that roam around on the grounds. Listening to your every move, besides the fact that your metal detector is beeping all over the place, the game combines the classic stealth mechanics with a unique horror atmosphere, where every sound you make could attract the attention of the lurking enemy. The metal detector adds the exciting twist and forcing you to balance between searching for items and staying hidden from whatever present dangers. And honestly, while I was going throughout the entire circuit, and I had the metal detector, everybody can hear the beeping, and it's either I have to use it for only when I believe there is something nearby, or mascots will instantly find me really quick, followed by the random jump scares, which bothered me greatly. <laughs> Taking a look at the pros and cons of Circus of Tim Tim, this is probably its main standout features for this game is its atmosphere. The carnival setting is both creepy and visually striking, with a cartoony yet unsettling art style that sets a tone perfectly. The stealth mechanics are very well implemented, creating a constant sense of tension as you navigate the haunted grounds. The sound design is another good strong point with every creak, rustle, and footstep, followed by the random assortment of ducks scattered across the ground or stepping on things that make a lot of noise, adding the fear of being caught. The game's premise is about using the metal detector to find the lost items, which adds another unique layer to the gameplay that keeps things more interesting. Even with all the creepiness going around in this weird circus, Circus of Tim Tim isn't without its flaws. The game can be very unforgiving, with one mistake often leads to instant failure, which might frustrate some players. While generally effective, the AI enemies can be non-consistent, sometimes making them a bit too predictable or kind of too erratic. The metal detector mechanic, while very innovative, can be also very repetitive over time. So what I mean is, is that even with the beeping mechanic of the detector, you're pretty much that's how you find every single coin throughout this entire circus. The gameplay's difficulty curve can also be very steep, especially for players unfamiliar with stealth games. Looking at the verdict of Circus of Tim Tim, it offers a unique, tense, horror experience that stands out in the survival game genre. As also very popular, the mascot horror games have been coming up out the woodwork. It is a very intense atmosphere, creative mechanics, a solid sound design, making it a game worth playing for fans of horror and stealth games. While it can be challenging and sometimes frustrating, the thrill seeking through the haunted carnival and the constant threat of being caught by Tim Tim and his minions makes this a very memorable experience. If you're up for the challenge, Circus of Tim Tim is very much worth it checking out, which it gets its rating of very recommended. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this review, hit the like button and subscribe to Indie Voice for more indie game reviews. Drop your thoughts in the comments and let me know if there's a game you want me to check out. But until next time, keep supporting indie games and happy gaming.